Friends, in this video we will make a double salt, potassium sodium tartarate, also known as Rochelle salt. It is a double salt of tartaric acid. It has been used as a piezoelectric material since historical times. It is also a laboratory reagent for making the Fellings reagent. Materials required for this preparation include 10 grams of potassium bitartrate and about 10 grams of sodium carbonate. As a source of potassium bitartrate, I have the cream of tartar. I bought a 50 gram bottle of the cream of tartar from a nearby grocery shop. You can also purchase it from shops that sell stuff that are used in baking. Be sure to get a quality one as there are a lot of cheaper grades which aren't good. We take about 10 grams of it in a 250 milliliter beaker. As you can see, it is a white fluffy powder. Then you add about 20 milliliters of distilled water to make a thick suspension of it. Stir it up well. Now start adding the solid sodium carbonate with the help of a small spatula along with constant stirring. You can see that on adding the sodium carbonate there is lot of fizzing and bubbling. Continuously stir with the help of the glass stir rod to make all the suspended particles react with the sodium carbonate. You can see how the rate of the reaction increased on heating the solution. What's happening here is potassium bitartrate reacts with sodium carbonate forming sodium potassium tartrate that is our product, carbon dioxide and water. Sodium potassium tartrate is soluble in water. After some time the solution turns clear indicating all the suspended particles have reacted and the products dissolved in water. When we see that the reaction is not progressing, we stop heating and then filter the solution to remove any unreacted particles. I am using a simple gravity filtration here. Now the filtrate is actually the sodium potassium tartrate in solution. After taking the filtrate, we keep it undisturbed for slow evaporation for few days. After about 5 days, you can see the crystals have started forming. These are the crystals which I obtained after one week. From the supernatant solution, I boiled and recrystallized some more of the potassium sodium tartrate. Finally, the crystals were dried and powdered and the yield was about 6.5 grams of it. I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos.